Disclaimer. You will need to be in C3 and have V3 of your ace you wish to awaken before watching this tutorial. This video will not cover how to do those steps. The easiest way to complete this step is to play in public servers and wait until someone else spawns him at Castle in the Sea. But if you want to spawn him yourself, here's how. You will first need to find a God's Chalice. One spawns randomly in chests every 4 hours. Alternatively, there's a chance of one dropping from Elite Hunters. Next, the players in your server combined needs all three legendary aura colors. They can be bought from Master of Aura's NPC that randomly spawn across C2 and 3 in set locations. The three colors are Winter Sky, Pure Red, and Snow White. There are three buttons located across Castle on the Sea each meant for its corresponding legendary aura color. To activate them, simply equip the aura color and step on the button. The Winter Sky button is located on top of the castle. The Pure Red button is behind the castle. And the Winter Sky button is behind this pillar. Now head into the castle and find the pedestal for the god's chalice. Insert the chalice and you will spawn Ripindra. If it gives you the rewards, you have successfully defeated him. To get the mirror fractal, you first need to defeat the Doe King. To spawn him, However, you will first need 10 Conjured Cocoa. The first two levels of enemies at the Chocolate Island of Sea of Treats have a chance to drop the material. But the grinding may take a while, so be prepared. After you have 10, you will also need a God's Chalice. Then talk to the Sweet Crafter at the Chocolate Island to craft the Cake Chalice. You will also need to defeat 500 enemies on the main island to activate the portal. It is a good idea to bring a few friends or people from the official Discord server that also want to defeat the boss, as the Doe King is strong. After doing all of that, have the Cake Chalice in hand and talk to the NPC at the portal to open it. Unfortunately I have no footage of this but here's a screenshot. Notice him holding out the chalice while talking to the NPC. Once you have opened the gate, the doking will spawn. There is a timer before the boss despawns so watch out and bring back up. Once he is defeated, as long as you did enough damage, you will get the rewards including the mirror fractal. This part is important as you cannot do the rest without first completing this step. First, talk to the Sealed King located on the castle on the sea. Then, travel to the Great Tree and make your way up to the top of the tree. Once there, interact with the mysterious force and it will teleport you to the Temple of Time. Then, go back to the Sealed King and talk to him once more. If he says the following dialogue, you are ready for the next step. Mirage Island spawns in the outer sea and can be challenging to get as it can take hours to spawn. 
so I'll give you some tips and tricks to slightly make it easier. Firstly, try to avoid all sea events to keep your ship from sinking. You can ignore all sea events except the terror shark. Though flying piranhas can still damage your ship. For the terror shark you will have to kill it unless you have portal. With portal you can use your ultimate, taking everyone with you and it will despawn all sea events attacking you. Other than portal, kitsune, buddha, or magma are good for killing the terror shark. Secondly, stay in levels 3 to 5. Never go to level 6 as it is impossible to see at night and will make it much harder on Mirage Island. And being in levels 1 and 2 may have lower chances of Mirage Island spawning. Thirdly, bring friends. Chances of the island spawning increases drastically when there are two or more people on your ship. When you finally find the island, stay away from it otherwise the fog will prevent you from seeing. Look for the tallest peak before getting too close and then go straight towards it. If it is not night time by now, check to see how close until the sun sets. If it is midday or before midday still, chances are you will not be able to get the blue gear that you need in time before the island despawns, so you'll have to look for another mirage island. Once you're on top, look directly at the moon. I don't believe it is needed, but use raceability just in case while staring at the moon. As soon as the moon starts glowing, the blue gear will spawn so start looking. Make sure to not waste time as night time can pass by quick. You can use this map to help you find the gear. The blue dots represent possible spawn locations of the gear. However this is slightly outdated and does not include some new locations. If you are lucky and find the gear, you can now attempt the trials. Go back to Temple of Time when there is a full moon. You will need two other players of different race to do the trials. I recommend bringing two of your friends to make it easier. But if not, try looking for people in the Blocks Roots Discord server. Over here you have to pull the lever. Once you pull it you will have access to the trial room, that contain all the trial gates. This is the gate for sharks. For rabbits. For angels. For humans cyborgs and ghouls each player go to their race doors and activate your race ability at the same time if everyone has trials available then the trials should start each race has a different trial but they are all pretty easy angel trial is parkour shark trial is to kill a sea beast human is to kill a boss with an awakened fruit rabbit is a maze Ghoul is to kill some NPCs. And Cyborg is dodging some falling rockets. Unfortunately I have no footage of the other trials. Once everyone completes their trials, you have to fight each other and winner gets awakening. If you have friends, you can take turns getting awakening without fighting. Don't worry as if you lose the fight you can do another trial with more people as long as it is still full moon. If you win, follow the light to the clock room where you can unlock V4. Interact with the clock and you will unlock V4. To upgrade your awakening you have to first train by activating your ace V4 and keeping it up for a while. An easy way to train is by getting a friend and keep on activating the arena so your V4 won't end. Whenever the match ends just restart the match and continue fighting.
stage 1 requires around 3 minutes of training. And once you're done talk to the red hair essence NPC to advance to the next level. It will cost 1000 fragments. Now you can do the second trial to unlock the first race ability. After defeating the other players again you can then interact with the clock to unlock the next ability. Then talk to Red Hair Descents again to purchase the next level which costs 1500 fragments. Stage 2 requires around 5 minutes of training. You can always talk to the Red Head NPC again to confirm you can do the next trial. After you've completed your trial once again, you can unlock your second ability or choose to upgrade your first one that's already been unlocked. Stage 3 requires 3 separate training sessions. The first session requires around 4 minutes and costs 2000 frags to upgrade. The second requires around 5 minutes and costs 2250 fragments to upgrade. And the last session requires about 10 minutes and costs 2500 fragments totaling up to 6,750 fragments for this stage and around 19 minutes of training. Once done, complete another trial. Win the fight. And then you can unlock either your second ability or upgrading one of your current abilities. If you were to do one more trial after completing stage 4, you will then be able to enter the clock room and be able to switch abilities anytime. Note that you do not need to win the fight to unlock this power. However it is apparently bugged and you can only switch abilities once, before needing to complete another trial. Now in the final stage there are a total of 5 more training sessions available to you that each upgrades your transformation duration. Session 1 requires around 8 minutes of training and costs 3000 frags. Session 2 around 10 minutes and 3250 frags. Session 3 with around 13 minutes and 3500 frags. Session 4 around 15 minutes and 3750 frags. And Session 5 with around 18 minutes and 4000 frags. Totaling up to around 64 minutes of training, and costs 17,500 fragments. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching and good luck getting V4.